Good morning, this is the media report for Monday, November 18th, 2013. This video will outline newsworthy events that transpired over the weekend of Friday, November 15th, up until this morning at 6 a.m. We encourage anyone that may have information that can assist the police to please contact us at 506-648-3333, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477, crimemb.ca. On Friday, the St. John Police Force responded to 114 calls for service. At 7.34 a.m., we responded to the report of a parked vehicle in a driveway that was broke into overnight on the Rossi Road. This vehicle was reported as locked at the time of the break-in. Stolen from inside the vehicle were two firearms being hunting rifles and ammunition. No one has been apprehended for this theft, and the file is currently under investigation by Patrol Division. At 11.20 a.m. on Friday, a patrol member noticed a vehicle traveling above the posted speed limit. They conducted a traffic safety stop on this vehicle on the Hillcrest Road in East St. John. This traffic stop landed a 35-year-old male in jail for a committal warrant regarding unpaid traffic tickets. At 2.45 p.m., members of the Street Crime Unit conducted a CDSA drug search warrant at a residence on Coronation Court in the north end of St. John. During the search warrant, a marijuana grow operation was discovered, as well as a quantity of cocaine, an explosive substance, and a large amount of Canadian currency was seized. Two persons were arrested and held in police custody, a 33-year-old female and a 41-year-old male are facing several criminal charges of production of cannabis, possession of marijuana, possession of cocaine, and possession of an explosive device. They were remanded for the weekend and will be appearing in provincial court sometime today to answer to the approved charges. At 3.15 p.m. Friday afternoon, November 15th, we received a call to one of the uptown high schools regarding a 15-year-old student that was being held by school staff and was believed to be in possession of several pre-packaged bags of marijuana. This 15-year-old male has been released on conditions and will be appearing in youth court to answer to the criminal charge of possession of marijuana for the purposes of trafficking the drug. On Saturday, we responded to 113 calls for service. At 2.28 a.m. early Saturday morning, we responded to a call of a hit and run on Main Street North involving two vehicles in a collision. A uniformed member responding to this call noticed a vehicle matching the description of the badly damaged suspect run vehicle. A short pursuit occurred where the member was able to get the vehicle stopped on Bridge Street near the re reversing falls. A 19-year-old male suspect from Grand Bay Westfield was arrested and is facing several charges of impaired driving, failed to remain at an accident, failing to stop, driving with an expired registration, and no insurance. This male has since been released with a pending court, provincial court appearance of January 14, 2014 to answer to the approved charges. We responded to several reports of unrelated thefts and shoplifting from the various stores throughout the day on Saturday. At 1 p.m., a small contingent of protesters were in front of MP Rodney Weston's office. There were no issues reported and was considered a peaceful protest. This protest lasted approximately one hour. At 9.30 p.m. Saturday evening, we responded to an uptown nightclub regarding a fight. When members arrived at this location, a male was being escorted out of the club by the nightclub staff. This 35-year-old male, while being handed over to the police members, became uncooperative and resisted arrest. He assaulted one of the police members when attempting to restrain him. Once this male was placed under arrest, he threatened the officers on scene. He is being held for court and is facing criminal charges of obstruction, assaulting a peace officer, violation of a Form 12, and also uttering threats. The St. John Police Force responded to 90 calls for service on Sunday. Some of the more significant files are at 12.35 a.m. early Sunday morning we responded to the report of a break and enter and theft at a business located on Bayside Drive. Responding members were advised an IBM computer and printer were missing and believed to be taken during this offense. 
Damage to the business door was witnessed and is believed to have been forced open by the suspect or suspects to gain entry into this location. This is currently being investigated by patrol division. At 2.24 a.m. we responded to a single vehicle collision on the westbound lane near the Harbor Bridge. This was on highway number one. The male operator of this vehicle was seen fleeing from the scene by witnesses. A description of this male was broadcasted to all St. John Police Force members. After a quick search, a male was located a short distance away from the collision location. This 42-year-old male was the registered owner of the vehicle involved in the collision. He was apprehended underneath the highway overpass. This male was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital with what was reported to be minor, non-life-threatening injuries. This male has been arrested and is facing charges of impaired driving, blood demand refusal, and criminal hit and run leaving the scene of an accident. He has been released for a future court appearance to answer to the approved charges. He has been issued a driver's license suspension and also his vehicle with extensive damages has been removed and towed from the scene. At 10.40 a.m. we assisted the Red Deer Alberta RCMP in apprehending a 36-year-old male from a residence on the Manawaganish Road. This male was wanted on seven Canada-wide warrants for offenses in their area. He was arrested without incident and transported to One Peel Plaza where he was lodged in cells and is awaiting transportation back to Alberta to answer to these outstanding warrants and charges. At 8.41 p.m. last night we received a call of a suspicious vehicle in a parking lot of a large department store in East St. John. This vehicle was reported to have flat tires and the operator was attempting to drive this vehicle. When members arrived they did a traffic safety stop on this vehicle and operator and smelled what was believed to be marijuana coming from inside the cabin. As a result, an 18-year-old male from the Miramichi was arrested and searched and found to be in possession of a quantity of marijuana. He is facing criminal charges of possession of marijuana and will be appearing in provincial court at a later date to answer to this charge. At 1.20 a.m. early this morning, we responded to a male going through park vehicles near King Street East in Uptown St. John. This male was discovered by police and immediately fled on foot. A foot chase ensued with the male not being apprehended. A search of the immediate area didn't result in any capture of this male. Vehicle reported break-ins have been reported in the areas of King Street East, Elliott Row, and Charlotte Street Uptown. We again remind residents of the Lock It and Pocket program. Keep valuables out of your vehicle and lock your cars at all times. And lastly, at 3.35 a.m. this morning, a uniformed member conducted a traffic safety stop on a vehicle that was exceeding the posted speed limit on the Loch Lomond Road in East St. John. As a result of this traffic stop, an 18-year-old male was found to be on two probation orders issued by the courts, and both of these orders had curfew conditions, which were presently being violated. This male was arrested and will be appearing in court at a later date facing two counts of probation violation. This will end the media report for Monday, November 18th. Have a great day.